we call ourselves the SEAL team. You call on us, we'll get the job done. If it's to, to block a 6'5", 270 pound defensive end the whole game, that's the job. We got to get it done. If it's to go and run some routes and catch some balls, that's the job. We always talk about preparation breeds confidence. Um, and the way we pair in practice is what's going to show up on film. Ready, go! Go right, go right, right hand! Hey, it's going to be very important that we stay on our insteps. Okay, 6'4", 275, 6'4", 280, good. It's very important that in practice that we strain. So that's the way that, that our boys practice, uh, that we're going to go full speed. Coach Ben, he's everything you could ask for in a coach. Ready, go! You want a genuine guy, a guy who cares about you personally. He's going to push you to reach your full potential and be the best that you can day in, day out. Drive, 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 relax, good. In practice and in the games, he's always giving us reminders like in the moment and helping us out. Good, there you go, relax, good. Every little detail and with the, our technique and our assignments. The only time you start coming out of your base is if he does what? Run. That's when you got to come out of that base. But if he does all this stuff, you can stay in it. Ready, go. I'd rather tell you to slow down than to giddy up. So that's the way that our boys practice, uh, that we're going to go full speed. We spend a lot of time in the film room understanding the looks. Why is a defensive end in a nine technique? Uh, why are they in a four eye? What type of defense are they in when they're in their three down stuff? Um, and then also understanding coverages. For us, again, we've got to be very headsy players and understanding not just the fronts, but also understanding what's happening on the back end of it. This dude is the Mike linebacker, right? He is usually in here. When he gets out there, outside of the tackle and roam, the, feet, the antenna's got to go up. Ooh, this mic is out here. I may need to pick him up. Now your footwork goes right foot, left foot. BYU's linebackers, they are dropping to a certain area. Spot dropping, okay? Dropping to a certain depth. If they're dropping to nine and you run your route at eight, you're probably going to get walled off. But if you run it at 10, you get in his blind spot, and now you can work the windows. We good? So it's a really good job here, Rome, getting to your depth, okay? And then working the window. Keep coming across. If he tries to wall you off, keep coming across. He'll keep coming across. Just like this. Good. Boom. Kick him out. There it is. Great, great job right here. Great, great angles to run through. The receiver will make his block, and we should go to a touchdown. Everybody good there? This is going to be a really good play for us Saturday. If you want unique results, you need unique relationships. I got first pick. I got Austin. <laughs> but it's important to us to know if we're going to go to battle with each other on Saturday that we have that tight, close-knit bond. Yes, Bentley. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Hold it in, Bentley. Hold it in, Bentley. Hold it in, Bentley. Here we go. We do not know how to play. The ball in the hole. No, I know that. Come on, There it is, man. Great job, great job. <laughs> the past three seasons I was playing at BYU, and so to compete against them will be a unique opportunity, I think. You know, before seeing them or after the game, it'll be, you know, all hugs and seeing old friends again. In terms of how you prepare and how we're gonna get ready to play this game and try to go win, I think it's the exact same. Be the physical team today, seal team mentality, whatever it is, 11, 12, 13, get the job done. Run, pass, get it done. Be the physical team today. The only way that you walk out of here, the only way you walk out of here, it's anything other than a success, you need to get this straight in your mind, is that you refuse to offer up unto this team that which costs you nothing. We're gonna have to strain to win, but man, you offer up unto this team something that's gotta cost you today to win this thing. It's gonna cost you something. And so you gotta be willing to burn the dang ships. Yep. Burn the ships, man. There is no dang alternative plan B. We no. don't have one. We don't have one. You have gotta walk out of this door. You gotta go through that gate to the largest crowd in the history of this school to watch a football game. Yes. You gotta run through that gate and then yes. they gonna lock those gates. Yes. And when they lock those gates, you gonna have to fight. Yes. And there ain't no way out of it. No. Yes. And so it's up to you, go fight. Yes, sir. Go 
gonna be all in. Burn the ship. Michael Bollinger's in there as a fullback on third and two. Short yardage blocking, that's that's my favorite thing. If it's short yardage, you know it's a critical down, and it's very important that the SEAL team comes in, that the tight ends come in, and we can make that push for one or two yards and get the job done. You get a great block by Bollinger, the fullback. When the ball's in the air, you just got to have the mindset that it's mine. Let You can't let anything stand between you and the goal line. Throws near side. It's going to be caught on the near sideline. Fight him up. Touchdown, Liberty. The tight end, Austin Henderson, with his first catch as a Liberty Flame for a touchdown. On game day, I'm their biggest cheerleader. Uh, their job is to go out there and execute. So I kind of sit down with Jerome, Mike, Austin, Bentley, whoever it is in the game, kind of make adjustments if needed. Building the shade right now as the Flames move right to left. Bentley Hanshaw, the BYU transfer, lines up wing to the left. And a run by Day Day Hunter right side to the 30, to the 40, and on his feet to the 50. Far sideline, 30, 20, 10. Light him up. Touchdown, Day Day Hunter. And the Flames extend the lead. This is an absolute beatdown. Third and four at the BYU 25, heading to the north end zone. Jonathan Bennett in the shotgun, gets the snap, rolls the pocket right, looking to throw, does so, end zone, it's up, and it's caught! Line him up, touchdown to Liberty, C.J. Daniels! Boom! You please call it the biggest home game in program history, and Liberty responded with one of the biggest wins in program history. This vision was cast decades ago that this place on the mountain would have a team that could compete with the likes of a BYU. And uh, man, tonight you walked in that vision and you made history. The Liberty Flames put college football on notice. A fifth consecutive win, a 41 to 14 bludgeoning of BYU. BYU, BYU, BYU.